I don't care about the science. I don't want the science. I want Sid to talk. I don't care. I'm a scientist. I don't care about the science. This educational video is intended to draw attention to the problem of facilitator cueing in a technique called spelling to communicate. S2C, also known as rapid prompting method, is a variant of facilitated communication. While it is not possible to determine an individual's language or academic abilities from a video, it is possible to detect visual, verbal, and physical cues by the facilitator that appear to aid in letter selection. Criticisms are intended for FC as a technique and not the individuals being subjected to its use. Links to the topics discussed in this video are in the description box below. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment to help grow this project. The Claim In 2023, Dr. Vishnavi Sarathi and her son Sid were featured in Spellers, a documercial for spelling to communicate. Like all proponents of FC, S2C, and RPM, Dr. Sarathi believes her child is communicating independently when she holds a letter stencil board in the air as he extends an arm towards it. Sid was asked in the movie if he could control his thoughts. In an informal, unscientific poll, most people we asked the same question said no. The facilitated answer... I am a rudderless ship in a sea of thought. Rich. Sea of thought. Done. I'm a rudderless ship in the sea of thought. Facilitator belief in FC. Dr. Sarathi appears to know that science does not support FC use as an independent form of communication, but uses it just the same. I don't want the science. I want Sid to talk. I don't care. I'm a scientist. I don't care about the science. I know that Sid is talking. And like Sid says, if you don't believe it, go get a life. This anti-science stance regarding FC, S2C, and RPM is not unusual for those who support it. A 2003 article called Clever Hands, Uncontrolled Intelligence and Facilitated Communication by Wigner, Sparrow, and Fuller gives us a clue as to why. Their research explored how facilitators' belief in FC can lead facilitators to often unconsciously attribute their own movements to those of their clients. The study showed that a facilitator's belief that FC could work increases the chances that it would work for those individuals. Facilitators who believed in the potential of FC as an independent form of communication were also more likely to believe they were not providing physical cues during the trials, despite evidence to the contrary. Is belief enough? But is belief in spelling to communicate enough to prevent facilitator cues that aid in letter selection? In this clip, Sid braces his arm on a table. This actually isn't a bad idea, especially for someone who appears to have some motor difficulties. But this position limits Sid's mobility. He seems to employ a chop wood motion with very little variability. The many edits in the film clip, over 20 in a two minute section, make it possible to see Sid's arm movement from different angles, like this. And this. Sid appears to have some wrist movement, but moves his arm to basically the same place, indicating he may favor letters on the lower right side of the board. He 
Here is a slightly longer clip. I in T H in the S E in the C O N look look please O F in the C off letter board drift. But watch how much the board moves when the facilitator holds it in the air. If Sid's range of motion is limited, how is he independently selecting letters that are not easily within his reach? And why, if Sid knew how to spell I am a rudderless ship in a sea of thought, did the filmmakers make over 20 edits to that spelling session? Who is looking at the board? It is possible the facilitator thinks Sid is looking at the board more consistently than he is, because at the start of a session she drops the board in front of Sid and directs him to look. He also looks at her when she pulls the letter board away, sometimes, steps back, or changes stencils. Note that the facilitator is often looking at Sid during these times. So this confirms for her that Sid is looking at, or at least looking toward, the board during these moments. But in between stops and starts, when she is almost always focused on the letter board, Sid is often not attending to the spelling activity. Why does the science matter? As early studies of FC revealed, facilitators are in an extremely poor position to objectively test the validity of FC-generated messages. A strong belief in FC, also called confirmation bias or motivated reasoning, prevents facilitators from detecting their own cues during letter selection. Generally, they remember the hits or times they viewed FC as successful Sid selects I, and forget, downplay, or don't detect misses or when FC fails to work. Sid pokes at the letter board without looking. Testing authorship or doing science in a controlled setting with objective evaluators can help facilitators understand how they might non-consciously move the letter board to aid in letter selection. or see how often their client is not looking at the board.
In addition, evidence-based testing can help answer the following questions about a client's language and academic skills. Does the person have letter sound recognition? Does he understand how letters form words? Does he understand that words form sentences? Can he use words in meaningful ways? Does he initiate communication via S2C by choosing his own letter stencils? Does he comprehend the letters and words the facilitator calls out? Can he select letters on a stationary board by himself without facilitator interference? What happens to his ability to spell if the facilitator is out of visual and auditory range? What happens to his ability to spell if the facilitator is blinded to the content being discussed? And finally, Are there existing evidence-based augmentative and alternative communication methods, techniques, or devices that could be adapted to his intellectual and physical needs so he can express himself independently and without interference from a facilitator? Recap and Conclusion In this video, Dr. Vishnavi Sarathi and her son said, Use a form of facilitated communication called spelling to communicate. Dr. Sarate rejects the science demonstrating facilitated control with these techniques and believes the facilitator-generated words are those of her son. But questions of authorship arise when the letter board moves in the air and Sid looks away from the board during letter selection. While facilitators may be well-meaning in their belief in FC's efficacy, that belief cannot effectively or objectively rule out facilitated control during letter selection. The Science To date, there is no scientifically rigorous evidence to prove facilitated communication, spelling to communicate, rapid prompting method, or any of their variants produce independent communication. Controlled studies show that facilitators, not their clients, are producing the typed messages. Many organizations oppose the use of facilitator-reliant techniques. These include, but are not limited to, American Speech-Language Hearing Association, American Association on Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities, American Psychological Association, Association for Behavior Analysis, Association for Science in Autism Treatment. FC is not science. For more information, please check out our website at facilitatedcommunication.org.